Hi dear friends, journey to the city of cells. Our cells, the building blocks of our body, deserve to be researched and understood. Each of our world of cells is almost like a unique city. Working like clockwork, it's a magnificent mega city designed with interesting and intricate webs and roads. So, to better understand the mega city of cells in our body, let's meet a few of the friends of this magical city. These workers in our cells allow us to further our lives. These workers need to do their tasks functionally for us to have healthy lives. First, let's meet the cell organelles and their membranes. There are organelles in our body that we can call mini robots or mini organs. They are named accordingly to their tasks. Some of these organelles are the cell's nucleus, the mitochondria, the Golgi operates, lysosomes, peroxisomes, and the endoplasmic reticulum. There are essential opaque compartments that surround these organelles. This way, the liquid in the organelles doesn't mix into the stoplasm on the outside. So let's learn a bit more about this membrane that forms these compartments. These membranes are dynamic structures that are about 7 to 10 nanometers thick, even thinner than a soap bubble. I want to emphasize how thin this membrane is. One nanometer is about one billionth of a meter. It's a real miracle that membranes this thin can be preserved without any tear. We can better understand how amazing this is when we consider what nerve and muscle cells go through in a lifetime. All the little compartments of the organelles are made from the same matter. Because of this, when two organelles in a cell touch each other, their organelles disappear and the liquids inside them mix into each other. As a consequence, because two liquids that should not mix get mixed, and the tax of those organelles come to an end, to prevent this, the organelles should never touch each other while staying really close. To make this possible, there is a specially designed cage-like skeleton. The organelles can do their task in their mini rooms. Let's get to know more about this skeleton. It's a web called the cytoskeleton made up of proteins. It keeps organelles in their place and prevents them from touching each other. These cages in our cells also have a very big part in keeping the shape of our cells. Take a neuron as an example. Let's imagine each of them as a telephone. The signals come to the telephone or neuron through the dendritus and live through the axons. The cytoskeleton is the thing that preserves the special structure of a neuron. Just like the neuron, the epithelial cells that make up the stomach wall or the skin have a special structure. And to keep the integrity of the cell compartment's membrane, it needs cytoskeleton proteins. The strands that make up the cell cytoskeleton are called the microfilaments. These microfilaments make the organelles keep their special positions by holding onto the cell wall, cytoplasms, and the organelles in the cytoplasm. Sometimes organelles or other matters may need to be transported from a place to another. To these temporary rails called microtubules are laid down for them. Certain proteins are tasked with the organelles' movement on the track. These proteins are called mother proteins. The proteins are almost like humanoid robots with two arms and two legs. They hold the organelle with their arms and walk on the track with their legs. While the motor protein moves the organelle, the rails are laid down in front of it and taken apart behind it. In other words, a rod is built and destroyed for each organelle transportation. There are no fixed rods. Because of this system, even though the organelles move around all the time, they never get into contact with each other. In this one-time road built specially for each transportation, there are no traffic accidents. Dear friends, because it's related to the system I talked about, I want to tell you a bit about how a mother's milk is formed and how it's moved to her breasts. The components of milk proteins, fats, sugars, in other words, carbohydrates, are produced in the endoplasmic reticulum. The endoplasmic reticulum is an amazing factory made up of pipes and socks. The milk components produced here need to be packed and moved 
to the Golgi apparatus. During this process, the endoplasmic reticulum membrane starts to form soap-like foam and a small sac departs from the endoplasmic reticulum. These sacs are moved to the cell organelle called the Golgi apparatus through the rail system we just talked about. In the Golgi apparatus, the proteins fats and sugars go through another chemical reaction and turn into milk. After this, just like the endoplasmic reticulum, the Golgi apparatus form a soap-like foam, but this time they carry milk. These small milk-filled packs are carried to the outer membrane of the cell through the rail system. When two cells from the same type touch, their membranes open up at the point of contact and the milk is transferred out and moved into the mammary canals. When a baby tries to drink milk, the pituitary gland in the mother releases oxytocin into the blood. It goes to the mammary glands and contracts the gland canals. As a result of the construction, milk is sprayed into the baby's mouth with high pressure. Dear friends, we made an interesting journey to the city of cells and analyzed the factories in it. We once more saw that if there is an amazing design order and structure in the city, there is someone that designed it. Dear friends, please subscribe to our channel, share with your loved ones,